Good evening everyone, welcome to another video. Sam here from Me and Cleaver. Not posted for a little while, last year was hectic, um, but this year I pledge to do more YouTube, so hopefully you enjoy the video. Um, so we've got a lovely short four of lamb here. So today we're going to, um, to show you how to take one shoulder off, um, and then the other shoulder we're going to bone, roll and tie like a cushion. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is work along these rib bones here. So we're literally going to work along the seam, starting at the top here with the tip of the knife. Hopefully you can sort of see this on the video. It's going to come over the top of them bones and then run the knife, knife down nice and tight. literally until we get to the bottom of the neck there and just to the top of the seam here and then where the, the neck you can see like the crease in here where, where it meets like the, uh, the top of the shoulder it's going to run the knife over the top there come down along the neck on the inside you can, can just hear just picking up the seam so we literally just want to run and there's like a seam that runs down here. Just sort of see it there. So you want to catch that with the knife. Just work around there. I have one nice shoulder of lamb. It's ready to go. It's quickly going to do the same on the other side. So it's the same principle. So start at the top here. We're going to work our way. Down to just to the top of the neck there. We're going to come over the top where this crease is. Onto the seam. Finish off there. So there we have a lovely neck and lamb. We'll do that another day. We're going to bone out this lovely shoulder of lamb here. Zoomed in nice and close, so hopefully you can all see. So we're going to start at the blade end. It's going to run up on this seam here, and then we're just going to run the tip of the knife along the top of the blade bone, all the way up. We can open this right out. It's going to make this fold this back up into a cushion, so it can make it nice and easy to really see see what we're doing, it's such a fiddly, fiddly bone to, um, to work on at the best of the times. It's going to work our way around the blade bone there, just with the tip of the knife, run it up, we've got the ball and socket joint up here. Just edge of the table, just open that joint up a little bit. Come around the top of that. Like so, just really open it up. Cool. So now I'm going to work the tip of the knife just underneath the bone. Just come around this blade. All the way down. Open it right up. work way around. Obviously you don't want to go through the other side, it's quite thin along the top of this blade here where it sort of goes up into a ridge. So you want to be careful there not to split the top of the shoulder. It does happen sometimes, we just try not to. Just like so. And the next step is we want to take obviously this next bone out here. So it's literally a case of just working the tip of the knife, just feeling your way along the bone. Come over the top and down and round. Okay. 
down and round. Open it up so you can see exactly what you're doing. Just work your way along, little section by section, just along each bone. Nearly getting there now. The best thing to do these things is just break things down into little sections. So just tackle one, one bit at a time. Come around there. That's it, underneath there. have something that looks like this. So the next step we're going to do is um, just going to fold it all in. Like so. And we're going to tie it up so it's in a nice nice round shape. We grab our string. I'm going to tie this sort of like probably four times crossing over each time to try and get a nice sort of even, even tie on it. See it's pulling in already now. Go across here next. Lovely now. Got one more, one more string on here. I think should just about do it. This makes a lovely Sunday roast. Super easy, all boneless, and you just bang it in. Especially in this cold weather, and you can't get a nice slow cooked shoulder of lamb. And we have it. Lovely boneless cushion of lamb one lovely shoulder, got our bones, not the cleanest but they'll go into stock, will not be wasted, then we've got a lovely neck of lamb, another proper good winter warmer, perfect, well that concludes today's video, hope you've enjoyed it, quick little recap, so we have a bone in shoulder of lamb, Perfect for a Sunday roast, slow cook, um, it literally just falls apart, melts, what more could you want? Just cook it nice and nice and slowly. Same for the lovely cushion of lamb. Once again, I'll see we've boned it out, so um, it's literally just effort, effortless. It's just going to just fall apart, just cook it nice and slow, it just literally just melts, pulls. Get that, that, that nice sort of pulled lamb effect. Um, it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. Um, look forward to bringing you a lot more content this year because uh, we were slacking last year, but busy, we were just so so busy as I'm sure you know of all that's going on. Um, but yeah, all that aside, um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.